Hi, it's Gene from the Mavstar Observatory. Guys, the only reason we're looking at the LED on this muon detector flash right now is because, simply, a few people invested a little bit of their cash in our observatory. And I want to tell you something, you know, it's a rare thing to have. I'm probably one of the uh, few people uh, of 7 billion people on this planet now, probably one of 400 people that probably got muon detectors in their homes right now as a result of just those people contributing to what we've got. But the results come back to you guys. Uh, I came in the living room about 6 o'clock this morning and the rate of uh, muons that we were detecting were higher than normal, uh, more than I've ever you know notice before that's why I've done this video that you're watching now um, as you can see uh, the count is at, at the end of this video around about 1800 flashes uh, over a, a duration of about an hour so you know when you consider this we've got a five centimeter squared uh, scintillator which is capturing those little flashes of light which then gets converted into you know a strike via the um, silicon photomultiplier and then goes through the Arduino and at the end of the day you know we get this count single count each time that happens well you know it was flickering like crazy this morning I, I was just thinking about it um, I don't think we're going to ever have uh, two days the same and I do expect these uh, rates to increase but, you know, we have to put things in perspective. There's a lot at play at the moment. You've got to remember, uh, we're travelling around the sun and our Earth is also rotating. So day and night's not going to be the same mm. for that reason. And, you know, every time we move around the sun, at around about, say, 65 to 74,000 miles an hour, we're going to be at different locations on our orbit around the sun so you know our muon detectors are going to be at different positions so if there is a source of cosmic radiation from a different location even in our galaxy or outside our galaxy you know these are going to pick it up at that given point but not regularly because we move around the earth uh, sorry we move around the sun every year and um, you know I just wanted to say you know we're lucky to have them and the only reason we have is because people have, um, you know, coughed up a bit of cash and enabled us to buy the equipment to do it. Um, don't take it for granted, guys, really. You know, there's been 15 different suppliers to build these muon detectors. And they've came from China, America, Germany, the UK, and probably a few other countries uh, off the top of my head. I can't remember, but you know what? We've managed to put it all together and we've got these things. These are rare, rare things. You know, there's not more than probably 400 people, like I said before, in the world that have got them. And we've got them now at our disposal. And, you know, in a few weeks' time, we're going to be adding the data over a week, over an hour. Um, we're going to do a midnight to midday reading, then a midday to midnight reading and then we're going to do a week's reading all this is going to get put up on the website and then eventually we're going to record it just 365 days uh, a year so we can see what happens at different locations as we orbit um, around our sun and it will change the rates will change like i found today you know i come down this morning six o'clock and this thing is flickering like crazy and it was it was doing it more than it is actually what you're seeing right now in this video, and that's why I thought you know I'll get the camera out and just show people. But remember this, you know we've got a detector only five centimeters by five centimeters, and look how many strikes of muons it's getting, and that just gives you an idea of where you are right now in your living room. If you just multiplied that five square centimeters by the you know, area of your living room, how many strikes is actually coming through your living room right now. And this is going to increase, guys. And it's only by sheer luck that, you know, these strikes, as they pass through our body, through the roof tiles, through the all the 
the loft insulation, through the plasterboards, the brickwork. They pass through our uh, bodies, you know, and then continue probably for half a kilometre or more into the earth before they burn out. I mean, muons are uh, mysterical particles in any case. They shouldn't exist on the surface. And the only reason they do is because time's relative to the muon itself. I know it sounds crazy, but this thing shouldn't exist on the surface of our earth because it's got to pass through 10 kilometers of our atmosphere before it gets here but the point is this is it if you look into this guys you're gonna you're gonna be boggled it shouldn't even occur at the surface the muon because its life um, span is about two milliseconds yeah if you do the math it should never pass through 10 kilometers of our atmosphere after clear colliding with another particle so the cosmic radiation hits a particle in our atmosphere shatters into lots of these muons and then you know over the speed of the muon going from the atmosphere upper atmosphere to the surface um, is close to the speed of light some of them are almost at the speed of light but by the time they get to the earth they've um, fizzled out and the only reason they do that, they do um, manage to get to the surface of the Earth, is because they are actually um, utilising time individually to themselves. I know it sounds crazy, but that's exactly how it works. You know, we're, we're proving time relativity uh, with the muon. The only reason we can detect them is because time is relevant to the muon and not to us, the observer. Uh, I know it sounds mad, but that is exactly how it works but you know the fact that we can count muons gives us an idea of how much cosmic radiation is actually colliding with our upper atmosphere and during a time of you know uh, solar uh, minimum that we're experiencing right now and a magnetic pole shift uh, just just tells us that these things should be predictably on the increase and we're going to be able to monitor them now from now on so we're looking and it's only because people have supported what we do here at the observatory and we've just got to keep up the support guys you know what we we're giving some of these larger organizations a good run for the money uh you know we've got right now to date uh, a trimag system absolutely fantastic bit of kit guys a lot of time and effort and work went into that and you know we've got it at our disposal it tells us where the magnetic north pole is how fast it's migrating and we can keep a track on that we've also got right now uh, the magnetosphere sensor gives us an idea as to the strength of the magnetic uh, field that protects us and we've just added this to our armament like i said earlier uh, the muon detector it gives us an idea of how much cosmic radiation is inbound in our atmosphere you know, we're on ball, guys. You know, we've beat NASA a couple of times to the uh, table with information. We've released the information before it's, they've released it themselves. So what we're doing is absolutely amazing. On the budget that we've got compared to NASA, you know, it's just amazing. We just need to keep it going. So, you know, if you like what we're doing here, and I hope, you know, you respect what we're doing and, and also enjoy it, and obviously you get some informative information back from it, uh, the research that we do, then, you know, I just, the only thing I can ask is that, you know, perhaps you support us. That's the main thing, is keeping the support going. You know, it's been a hectic two weeks here for me, you know, chasing up suppliers, building this, and, you know, the stress levels have been immense, guys. You know, it'd just be nice if a few people would, you know, jump on board and, you know accompany me in these dark times you know that we go through in order to get this equipment uh, built and finished and out in the field and you know the only way you can do that is simply support us with a few quid that's it guys you know what can i say the links are down there uh, you can support me on patreon or uh, you know you can make a one-off paypal um donation it's entirely up to you that's the main thing is that we are supported and we continue doing what we do because you know what guys if 
we work together, we can achieve things. Yeah, this is proof of it. You know, this muon detector that you're watching right now is pr proof of that. I couldn't have done it on my own. I've got the skill set, the knowledge, and, you know, the time. But I just don't have the money, sadly. And that's what I need in order to complete doing what we do and get the information back to you. So, you know, I'm not going to go on and on and on. Guys, have an amazing evening. And, you know, links are there if you want to support us. And I'll say nothing more than I usually do. Bye for now.